new test shows that Mars soil has nutrients necessary for life. NASA's Phoenix Mars Lander has found evidence of mineral nutrients essential to life in the Martian dirt, mission scientists have announced. After performing the first wet chemistry experiment ever done on another planet, the Phoenix Mars Lander discovered that a sample of Martian dirt contained several soluble minerals including potassium, magnesium, and chloride. Though the data is preliminary, the results are very, very exciting, scientists say. We basically have found what appears to be the requirements for nutrients to support life, said Phoenix's wet chemistry lab lead. This, this is the type of soil you'd probably have in your backyard here on Earth. You might be able to grow asparagus and other kinds of plants pretty well, but probably not strawberries. Asparagus and other plants which thrives in alkaline soil would like the Martian dirt, which Phoenix measured to have a very alkaline pH of between 8 to 9. Strawberries, however, like more acidic soil. The finding comes a week or so after the lander discovered water ice in the same dirt. On Wednesday, the probe placed a cubic centimeter sample of Martian dirt in its onboard wet chemistry laboratory for the first time. The lab, part of Phoenix's suite of instruments called the Microscopy Electrochemistry and Conductivity Analyzer, or MECA, M-E-C-A, was designed to test Mars dirt for salts, acidity, minerals, and, con and conductivity. After meek after mixing the dirt with water being brought from Earth in one of Mecca's teacup sized beakers, the instrument measured various characteristics of the solution to learn about the properties of the dirt. Mecca includes four beakers, each of which can be used only once. NASA says the inside of each beaker contains 26 sensors designed to study red planet material. We're making mud, we're stirring it up, we're measuring it with sensors, said Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the team leader for the Mecca instrument, a habitable world. The new findings help fulfill Phoenix's main purpose, to search for signs that the red planet's northern polar regions could have theoretically supported life. The Phoenix Lander's first case test of soil near Mars' North Pole reveals a briny environment. And yes, this is similar to what can be found in backyards on Earth. Kind of like salty. Anyway, it's a very rich soil with minerals in it. It's very good for growing things. We did basically find there's nothing about the dirt that would preclude life. In fact, it seems very friendly. The soluble mineral nutrients it found and the dirt's hospitable pH level are both very promising signs. Though the dirt itself seems to be friendly. Scientists point out that the very top layer at the surface is exposed to high levels of harsh ultraviolet light that is damaging or could be damaging to organic compounds. So the very top layer of soil might not be able to support life. Theoretically, there could be microbes living meters and meters underground. They would be very happy. Phoenix also recently found another promising sign that this Mars environment could be habitable. The probe has photographed what scientists say 
must be water ice. A few bright crumbs that evaporated over four days from a trench in the ground dug by the scoop. The scientists are sure it's water and not some other material such as carbon dioxide because of the time frame over which it vaporized. The local temperatures are too warm for carbon dioxide to remain frozen for even one day, scientists say. Launched in August 2007, Phoenix includes cameras, a scoop-tipped robotic arm, a weather station, and ovens in addition to its wet chemistry lab. Well, anyway, it has found life. Water is life. Water is alive. Water has a consciousness. It is conscious. It's part of the spirit of God. Yes, it's part of God, the Creator. And water is alive, and it is life. And there's no life without water. And when manned missions, when a, when a manned mission is sent to Mars, well, people are going to need water. Yes, they do need water. You won't be able to carry enough. You won't be able to carry enough on any spaceship. It's too far, and water is just too heavy. So when they get there, people are going to have to have water, and there's lots of water on Mars. Yes, quite a bit of water. Well, a lot of it's underground, underneath the soil, in the form of water ice, or ice, and there could be aquifers much deeper underground, just like here on Earth. Yes, water is life. So, in essence, they have found life on another planet probes of an instrument, Thermal and Evolved Gas Analyzer, or TEGA, also recently completed an experiment in which it heated up a sample of Martian dirt to 1,000 degrees Celsius, 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. When the sample was heated, the instrument measured signs of water, yes, water, water vapor, which researchers think was probably emitted when minerals melted that contain chemically bound water. This water would have bonded to other molecules in the minerals. This is the first time anybody's ever heated up part of a planet to such high temperatures, said the lead scientist for the TEGA. When we heated up the sample, we got some modest amounts of water vapor. This is what we were hoping to see. What we can now say is that the soil clearly, positively, has interacted with water in the past. It is quite possibly there were oceans, oceans and lakes on Mars in the past. It appears to be that the water has gone underground, under the soil. It's in hiding. It's waiting. But it's there. The results of both the TEGA and MECA tests are showing scientists that it's possible, theoretically possible, Mars may indeed have, have hosted or may be hosting some form of life. And water is life. Over time, I've come to the conclusion that the amazing thing about Mars is not that it's an alien world but it's actually very Earth-like, scientists say. Yes, this is very important. Future manned missions to Mars. Yes, they will need water. And it's there. It's on Mars. And these are more signs. Yes, Mars, the future world. A future new Earth for mankind. And these are more signs.